I am here in the Los Padres National Forest and I'm ready for an overnight adventure. I just parked my car here at the Piedra Blanca trailhead and you can tell right away why it's called Piedra Blanca. Piedra Blanca means white rock in Spanish and there's this cool white rock and like white streak right there behind it. Pretty cool. hot out here. I'm about four and a half miles into my hike. I'm on, uh, I don't even know what the name of this trail is, but this trail follows along the Sespe River and it's about 18 miles to the end and there's some hot springs which I'm looking forward to. I'm pretty excited to camp out here. I'm planning only to stay for one night. We'll see how my body does with the miles. You never know when you go backpacking what it's gonna be. Yeah. So far? The hike has been beautiful and I'm really looking forward to swimming. I am hot.
So I'm here at Willits Hot Spring. I have it all to myself, lucky me. And it is amazing. It is totally worth the 10 mile hike to get here. I don't even know if I'm gonna continue on further with this trail because this spot is just so awesome. I kinda wanna spend some time here. And the one downside I realized as I've been sitting here is there's a lot of rocks that fall from this cliff right here and it was like raining rocks <laughs> not just one or two like there was like a shower of rocks that came down so that's a little scary but oh this is amazing <sighs> I just had to stop and lay in this grassy field when I heard all the crickets. just went down to the river to filter some water and I made some coffee and I'm just enjoying the morning here at this beautiful little campsite. I'm so happy I was able to stay here last night. I wasn't intending to but the way things worked out this is where I stayed. When I first got to Willits Hot Spring there was a man soaking in the tub before me and he introduced himself and you know told me how he goes there at least once a month sometimes once a week and he is responsible for the pipe that kind of fills the pool with the hot water from the spring and he showed me how to clean the tub if i ever come and it's kind of you know full of algae and slimy there's a brush there too that you can clean it out and yeah he was really nice he left so i had the tub to myself for a while and as I started hiking back I actually caught up with him and he you know being kind and wanting to you know caring for my safety he you know told me to skip a couple of the campgrounds because he recognized a shady character and told me I'd be safer at the section closer to the parking lot so I listened and I ended up here at one of the first campsites I saw when I was hiking out on the trail. I didn't intend on making it all the way this far back towards my car but I'm very satisfied with this trip. I think it all worked out really nicely and I'm looking forward to coming back and hopefully hiking all the way out to the Sespe Hot Springs. Anyway. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day and I'm gonna hang out for a bit and then head back to my car. Oh, 
My legs are covered in bug bites. I didn't even know I was getting bit. I am covered in bug bites and I'm walking through this kind of brushy section here and it feels nice because the branches are all scratching my legs for me but I didn't realize I was getting covered in bites.